How are you doing that part? I have no idea. <laughs> These aren't the dumplings that we're eating, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, got. what better place to be in Haymarket? I've decided to come down and catch up with Kevin, famous food blogger, and we're going to hear from him, try out one of your favourite restaurants. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go. So what have we got? We've got some pan-fried uh, pork chive and prawn dumplings. Yep. We've got braised eggplant, which is apparently this place's specialty. Yep. We've got uh, Xinjiang style cumin lamb, barbecue lamb. Nice. And we've got some steamed pork and chive dumplings as well. Which are those ones? Which are those ones? Not the ones that we made. No, them. no. That's good. Mm. Oh, this is uh, their handmade noodles. So technically this place is a noodle restaurant. Mm -hmm. Um, so they pretty much pull all the noodles themselves when they order it. So what do you normally eat yourself? Well, I'm into barbecuing. Oh, really? Yeah, so I have a Komodo barbecue right. and a pellet, wood pellet barbecue as well. Oh, okay. So it's a long smoke. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. And, um, and do you do that often? Yeah, so, I mean, it's been pretty busy lately, but, you know, I try, like, usually, I'd say, once a week, once every couple of weeks. Oh wow. Yeah, so like ribs, brisket, um, chicken's the best, like yeah. a brine chicken the night before. Yeah, yeah. And then... And that's on top of all your work as a premier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if you're organised, you can brine, get the chicken, yeah, yeah. brine it, leave it in the fridge, yeah. put water, sugar, salt, and mm, beer mm. Um, overnight, and then the next day, just um, put it in, you know, get a good barbecue rub with a whole lot of things like the pre cure and sugar. Have you been doing it for a very long time? Uh, so, yeah, about over 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, over 10 years. Um, so once, you, once you get a Komodo yeah. smoker, yeah. there's no turning back. Yeah. Like, everything else is second rate. So how do you work out where to go? I have this very big list right now. It's, yeah. I think there's like 200 places on it. So yeah, people come story. to you and say, yeah, come sometimes. Out. Yeah, sometimes. I try to do like a 50-50. Yeah. Um, so people come and say, hey, like, you know, uh, I have this restaurant, I have this amazing food. If there's like a story behind it, then I get very interested. I, I'd love to help tell your story. Yeah. Um, on the flip side, I do cover a lot of like smaller businesses that don't really have access to like social media and stuff. Yeah. Just like the mom and pop shops, you know, like places that have been there for a very long time. Yeah. And yeah, it's nice. <laughs> What do you think about this? Now, I'll tell you about this. So, I was never a big fan of eggplant until quite um, really? recently. Yeah, I okay. never really liked it. But then, um, I've started to get into it. I had some part. Uh, this is apparently their it. specialty dish. Yeah, is this is the best crazy. eggplant I've ever had. Oh, really? Best eggplant I've ever had. Did you hear that? Where are they? Best eggplant Dom's ever had. That's pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? What's your name? My hey, Dominic. Excellent. Yep. Got to get a photo with Dominic. What's your experience as a dad? I've heard you out of a few. Yeah, kids. seven kids. Seven kids. Yeah. Wow. So, wow, so uh, it's um, it's incredibly rewarding, but yeah, I can busy. Imagine. But busy, and in this in this job as well. Seven kids. Seven kids. Premier of New South Wales. Yeah, thirteen. <laughs> the eldest, all the way down to about ten months now. Wow. So, little baby oh. Celeste. Congratulations. My dad is one of 13, 14. Really? One of 14, yeah. Wow. So you don't hear about like big families like this no. very much anymore, right? No, it's, 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 it's not like two it, or three kids rare. normally. But, you know, I came from a big family myself. And when, you, when you're when you one of 12. Yeah. So when you grow up in that uh, environment, like you know, where there's always someone to play with, mm. you know, play cricket, rugby all the time. Yeah. You, you know, it becomes kind of, uh, normal and it's great because the kids, you know, people say, oh, how do you do it? Because they might have two children. Yeah. It's hard. It's just as hard. Yeah. When the older they get, yeah. they all look after each other, they play yeah. with each other, and, and that's, that's yeah. a great thing. Yeah, and props to the wife as well, right? She, she holds yeah, it down awesome. at home. She's yeah. awesome. Well, thank, thanks, Kevin, for taking me through this and everything that you do. I, I like the, the point that you go out to local communities hear from those on the ground about where the best place to eat is and share that to everyone. I think it's awesome. So thank you. I really appreciate you're doing it. well. It's been right. fantastic spending some time with you. Thanks for the love. Thanks for eating with us. Um, thanks for coming down and experiencing good Chinese food. Like, well, I said, best eggplant that I've ever had. <laughs>